Hillary Clinton mm -hmm. apparently still not over her 2016 defeat to President Trump. She's now claiming the election was stolen from her. Watch this. I think it's also critical to understand that as I've been telling candidates who have come to see me, you can run the best campaign, you can even become the nominee, and you can have the election stolen from you. So, <laughs> Brian, I think this is a situation where you look at Hillary Clinton and she's saying, you know what, we really have to be sure that we win com by a compelling amount. Actually, Nancy Pelosi picks up on this, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, because she's not sure that Donald Trump would peacefully leave off. Which is ridiculous. I mean, her point of being so, she's just not self-aware. And it, one thing, Juan, I think there's nothing better than somebody who admits them when they lose and they say, this is where I blew it. And the, and the popular vote doesn't mean anything because that's not how we judge. We've got to win states. I didn't win enough states. Uh, I lost, 30, I lost uh, 30 states to Donald Trump. That's my problem. Instead, she goes, I win the popular vote and it was taken from me by the Russians. And it makes me really appreciate Al Gore. Al Gore could have Amen. said all the time, the governor of Florida was Jeb Bush. I barely lost to George Bush by 500 votes. Man, if I only did a whole state election, would have been different. He could have made a ton of money speaking across the country. Instead, he did what Jesse would have done, grew a beard and taught at Columbia. <laughs> and that I really respect. And made millions of dollars. But instead of saying, hey, here's the problem. I made a big mistake, private server. I made a big mistake. I let Uma Abedin yeah. go on the laptop of Anthony Weiner. I made a big mistake. John Podesta let a naked uh, email out, uh, email uh, server out there yeah. allowed people to hack into it. That's where I dropped the a ball. A naked yeah. server. Interesting. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I strongly agree with disagree everything? with that, but I leave it. It sounded like I won you over. No, because, you know, I think Russian propaganda had a lot to do. But Kennedy, what about Jerry Falwell saying, you know what? We owe President Trump an extra two years. Sounds like somebody's trying to lay the groundwork no, for him. No, no, and, 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 oh. and Jerry Falwell Jr. is just trolling. And no one owes anyone anything. And everyone knows that's not how our system works. And if you remember, it was Hillary Clinton uh, during the debate, I believe it was in St. Louis, where she talked about her greatest fear is that uh, President Trump, then candidate Trump, wouldn't concede the election when she won. And that our elections have consequences. I, I wish you would go back and revisit some of those words. Instead, everyone once in a while, she'll throw out a, I take full responsibility. And but it must be it. opposite day for her every single day. Yeah. <laughs> then she goes to the laundry list. I blame the Russians. I blame James Comey, Macedonian content farms, a uh, subservient. Kennedy, can I add one thing? Could you grab my arm in the last segment? Uh, I, would, I would say this. Do you remember Barack Obama had to convince her to concede? Wow, yeah. Or else she'd still be on Kennedy. that stage. But yes. it was Barack Obama said, listen, put her on the phone. Yeah. You lost. Yeah, and that's what we learned from the Peter Baker book. He's the New York Times chief White House correspondent. He's written a book about how disgusted uh, President Obama was that she lost. He blames her and her soulless scripted Correct. campaign. That's, what, that's a quote. So, Jesse, but you have Nancy Pelosi, on the other hand, saying, if we hadn't won overwhelmingly 40-plus seats in the 2018 midterms, well, if we'd won just by a slight amount, four seats or so, President Trump would have said, nope, not true, would have challenged the results of the election. So the Democrats are saying that Donald Trump will not accept the results of the 2020 election when they haven't <laughs> accepted the results of the 2016 election? I think That's what's going I on? I think he's in the White House. I think, well, well, I think yeah. President Obama. You know, the Hillary has well, not accepted the record, the Juan was assigned this segment. He didn't get a chance to choose it. <laughs> Your heart Obama. is not in this segment oh, no. at all. <laughs> it is not. There's some briefing materials uh, on this, too. I can, I, I, look, I I'll tell, tell you something. what's going on with Pelosi here. <laughs> this is what yeah. she's doing I want to hear from you. What's probably going to happen, again, you're going to see Donald Trump win the election electoral college and maybe lose the popular vote. So she's setting this up now for Democrats to challenge the election results if Trump wins that way again. And she's saying that the Democrats have to beat him on kitchen table issues and not do impeachment. I understand. And just back to Hillary for a second, Juan. She lost the election and now she's lost her dignity. She does this every single time she takes a loss. Remember, President fooled around with Monica. She blamed the vast right wing conspiracy. She lost to Obama in the primary. She blamed sexism. Now she lost last time to Trump and she's blaming the Russians. Obama was right. She ran a soulless campaign. She did not run the right way, as she said there in that soundbite. And I don't know about you, but I think she's just trying to boost ticket sales because they had to deeply discount these things. Twelve dollars for there, six. There were seats. I was six wrong. Dollars. For six dollars. Yeah. Yeah. You need your refund. Man. Oh my goodness! I well, you know what? I still have a problem, Emily, because I think President Trump was on the phone with Vladimir Putin just last week.
And people said, well, did you tell him, hey, this interfering not only in our elections with Venezuela is not good. He's, no, no, no. He said that didn't come up. Well, why? When he spoke on his own in Helsinki, he got vilified from the left for it. So which is it? Does when he, he said it, again, that's when, that's when Putin was right next to him and he said, I, I believe Putin, not the American intelligence? That, to me, has nothing to do with Hillary Clinton's excuse tour she's now two years into. It doesn't surprise me at all that right now she's... I feel like she's not even saying, look, we need to win on the issues. I, th I think she is straight up just in her tour, where, which makes sense to me that as an establishment candidate who actually won the popular vote and yet still lost, that she probably is, it's hard to step aside. She is a victim complex. She's probably a narcissist. And to her, to watch Joe Biden emerge from this pack leading it and everyone's obsessed right. with like you know streaming their lives except for mayor pete and she probably is aghast well, but she should step aside and focus on being productive in a different way whether it's lecturing at columbia or something different because it's making her look so bitter and she still had to say kind of like i'm the matriarch like when candidates come to me young people this is right. my advice can to you them imagine those class. meetings though i was thinking about that when i read that quote from her how annoying <laughs> it is like Oh, okay, I guess we have to go see Grandma Hillary now and hear the speech about how she was the best <laughs> candidate, ran the best campaign, and she was the nominee, but the election was stolen from her. And maybe, hey, maybe you guys could do like a choir of lock her up for us. Uh, lock her uh, up. Uh, 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 you guys are the ones that are obsessed with Hillary Clinton. Uh, I feel bad for Bill. I feel bad for Bill. Dig you her guys, up every weekend. Yeah, you, can, you guys do it. Hey, uh, she's on tour. Trump does it at every rally. It's one of his biggest hits. It's a reliable hit for Trump.